<laughs> All right. So, last time I believe we left off, you guys found some stairs down into the belly of the Trotter's Stockade. And you guys were going to get ready to head on down there when we stopped, right? I believe that's right. I think so. Um, so, what we'll do... And the stairs that lead down... <coughs> go down, like, a really, really far way. 30, 80 feet down. I mean, you are descending pretty far. Um... So what I'm going to do, rather than draw it, draw out 80 feet of stairs, I'm just going to draw the, the bottom section here. Is that the scale? Yes, it's the scale. Thank you. Perfect. All right. So let me grab a different marker. This one is mistake. not doing well. Hopefully I have one that is... Chugga. All right. Oh yeah, this one's looking. I think it's one of the new ones. Oh, I think. Okay. So, as you guys recall, you you were dropped off by Trotter in the swamps, several miles up the coast. While he took the blind hangman and engaged the Gityarish to draw the Gityarish away. However, the Gityarish had already dropped off a number of its landing party to attack the stockade and try to find Captain Trotter and likely either at least a piece of the map or the, the treasure map itself that you guys are seeking. Um, as you guys snuck in the, the back of the, the stockade, the Gityarish who have always been known to be very deliberate, attacked the front. Which was actually great for you guys, because it pulled a lot of the defenders forward. Although you did still run into um, a contingent of hobgoblins who tried to, after you killed their commanding officer, uh, they, did tr they did try to fool you into thinking they were, there was undead in the, in the stockade, and they wrapped themselves up in bandages and waddled their way down the hall, acting like mummies. But I think Hughes shot. Q was, was not deterred, so as the rest of you guys were kind of pulling back, she sent a shot down the hall and blasted one of them, and you heard someone yelling, Goblin, this isn't working, we gotta get out of here, and they pulled back. <laughs> Crafty hobgoblins. Yes, tricksy hobgoblins. Even in the battle with the commanding officer, they had staged the room for a defensive posture, and sent a giant keg of rum rolling into your ranks as you guys came into the room. Uh, <clears throat> and then the next room there was the giant keg that ended up being powder that blew from the uh, yes. fire Shot. breath potion. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and it totally obliterated the defenders in the room. Hmm. Let's see. That's yours. I think. You have feather fall, right? Yep. Yep. Who had fire resistance? Me. Who? And you have the scroll, right? Yep. Ooh. Wand of secrets? Me. Secrets. This is Jeff. Yep. It's gotta be Jeff. Still one charge on that one. Uh, potion? I had a potion of climbing. Number 20. Yeah. 20 is gaseous form? No. Number 33? That's probably the climbing. Does it look like a spider? Yes. Very primitive looking individual on it. Uh, number seven. Who had number seven? I've got a cloak. Uh, you got a club. And Am, you've got the rapier. Magic rapier. The red cloak. Huh? Oh. Uh, yes. You want to have an extra pencil? Yeah. I got it. And my figure. Um, and I did now. level your character to fourth. So your Just dex went up, con went up, so you got more hit points. And that is protection. Since so your dex went up, all this got, stuff goes uh, up. They've got mass up to them. Um, and they're selling them for like 
And that's it. I think that's it. There's not much to change on a. Oh, uh, you also picked up Shield of Faith as well. Forty. Forty. All right. One of them's got. So who's leading the way down the stairs? Like burnt into it. He's talking. He's talking about card wallets. Card wallets. Be careful. The one with horns. The one that looks like Batman. I'm the one with the bloody axe. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I as you guys. Weapon, so if approaches, I'll go forth. Are you, just you? Or are you this guy? I'm that one, yeah. That's it. Yeah, that's Eric. I'll be near the back in the red cloak. Yep, that's me. Oh. That's me. You're carrying the chest, right? Yes. Right. They got. They did. You guys did find a large amount of treasure, and Huckrush here is hauling it around in a chest. I can haul it just fine. I just have to take breaks all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I still got some too from them. Do you need to carry it? No, not much. Yeah. Well, the problem is it's in the large chest. Oh, so. fancy ring. Well, just dump it out and put it to a bag. It's too much stuff. Yeah, yeah. there's a lot. How much gold? There's, there's a lot of silver too. I think. Right. What was it, like 10,000 silver? Yeah, it was 120, 140 pounds, something like that. So I'm just dropping the chest when we go into combat. Yes. So there is a door to your immediate right here as you come down the stairs. Um, <coughs> the And also as you come down the stairs, you notice there are several rats scurrying around. Um, and they appear to be kind of covered in in blood and gore, like they've been, they've been fighting. They, not fighting, like they've been feasting on something. Uh, there are a number of oil lamps that light up the hall, and you can look to your left and maybe 20 or 30 feet down the hall, there are a number of bodies. How far, how far does the hall go? Uh, let's see, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 feet to a door. Do we know what Trotter looks like? Uh, yeah, you know what he looks like. He's kind of a, a large, uh, mutton-chopped man with long hair. He's older, and kind of gray. Uh, he, does, he does not have typically wear a hat. So not, he's, he's a human. Yeah. Door. The door right in front of you? Yep. Okay. Hang on one second. Just moving some stuff around for easy access. <laughs> Jeff. So, does he look like this? Sure. <laughs> he looks like uh, Burnside. <laughs> okay, so you come up to the door the and you listen to the birds. What'd you get? 21. Uh, and you can hear movement in that room. But it's very subtle, um, and not and like they're trying to hide. It's possible, or like he gets in there. Give me my ball. Okay, I'll look back at those two. Like, I will ready a uh, toll the dead if uh, something comes out of that room. Okay, something comes out of that room. Okay. Is it uh, trapped? Twenty. You, you check it. Mm -hmm. Um. And what'd you get? Twenty. All right. Roll one more die for me. Just a twenty side. Yep. Two. It does not look trapped. Right. So it, it does not look locked. I'm gonna roll another twenty side. Eighteen. Looks like the lock. It's not locked because someone forced it. Okay. And you happen to notice that. Before you stick that door in, I want to come down. 
into the main hallway. So we're not all choked up in that stairwell. All right. Stage. 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 This is not amazing. It was nice of the priest to take a ah. Yeah, oh, it was getting into the entrance of the tomb of annihilation. I like that. All right, so um, come where? How far up the hall do you come? Where's the first set of bodies? Bodies that are what? Third in here. Yep. Oh, uh, that's. I'm good right there. Okay. Anyone else moving before he opens yeah. the door? I'm gonna uh, aim, you want cookie? aim the uh, dragon musket towards the doorway. Which back behind you? You mean? No, this one. Right at the rogue. Well, I'm not gonna point it at. <laughs> Achoo! Oh. Pow! That's called trigger control. Oh, okay. I am directly behind the rogue. You want to be behind the rogue? Yeah. Okay. Over hook on the, Probably behind the, the, um, the cleric here. Oh. 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 Behind the cleric. So we're on just piled now. I'll, I'll stay in the stairwell. So oh wait, that's the. That's so when we move from one straight line to another straight line. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was trying to get out of the straight line. All right, you ready? Well, you control the <laughs> Yeah, kick it open and roll to the side. Kick it open and roll to the side. Yep. All right. Let the fighters pile in. All right, ready to go. And here comes the chain lightning. <laughs> yeah, now it's the lightning bolt. There's a outside so. the door. The other way, they would have to go around the corner to hit us with that. That's a good idea. Which ones? Dungeon crawlers. Ah. Dungeon Dumbo. Yeah. <laughs> No. Mm -hmm. you search for traps and regular things. Unlike Felix, who searches for traps and things. <laughs> Felix, yes. Felix will find any sausage traps. Felix's gizzard trap. If it's edible. All right. Oh, the latest adventures of Clark the dog. The other night I got the panicked call because he had thrown out a white foam. He had apparently gotten into the cat's L-lysine supplement <laughs> and ate half a jar of it and then threw it up. Ate it back, but that was fun. Hmm? Ate it, threw up, ate it again? Probably. Mm. Well, the medium that they have the amino acid in is brewer's yeast. Oh. So... Yeah. So he started brewing. So, hey, but he was okay he after. No. He threw beer. up, drank a lot of water, oh, and so he had beer guts. Yeah. Right there. That way you don't have to play with him. He's actually brewing. Three, six, yeah, nine. Like yes, but the cats haven't been able to have their own lysine supplement until more arrives tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they're upset. <coughs> Are they red in Jurassic Park? Yes. <laughs> they are like velociraptors. They are lysine dependent. Uh, it's because of the FIV. They have the FIV, feline immunodeficiency virus, so the lysine is an, is an immuno booster for them. And when the vet prescribed the lysine, I said, oh, like velociraptors. Did he get it? No. So it was just a career? Yes. I would have changed vets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 If you didn't what get that mean? reference. What do you mean you don't get it? Then you change the China River. Yeah. I don't like more cats come in and they don't come in all the <laughs> well, Unless without a side of rice. <laughs> we did not take a long rest. We did not take a short rest. No, you're not getting extra strong rest. Growth. All right. Makes you so <laughs> you throw the door open and try to roll out of the way, right, Byron? Good work, smash. Okay. So the room's filled with goblins. Okay. 
Marble. And they all have those those uh, Y tattoos on them, right? Um, so go ahead and roll a dexterity check to see if you roll out of the way. If you roll out of the way, it's Mari that's going to get a face full of bolts. DC 14. They're not crossbows. It's a hardware store. They're throwing bolts at you. <laughs> I don't want to be screwed. Ah, nuts. <laughs> oh, okay, so they unload at you as you try to roll out of the way. I don't <laughs> I got the regular fudge trips. All right, not have uh, first one, natural 20. Oh, boy. Here it comes. Shot right, right in the eye. Dice. It's a critical dice, yes. Yes, it's loaded. They all are critical. <coughs> so, uh, 10 points of damage on the first arrow. Ouch. Second attack. Uh, 18. <laughs> yes. 7 points of damage. Okay. Third one. Ow. 18, six points of damage. So what is that total? Are you still up? Yeah. All right, so this guy, he's got a weird angle on you, so I'm going to give him disadvantage to hit you. 18. Yep. Well, it was with 20. Eight points of damage. All right. All right, let's roll initiative. I hope I didn't go first. I have something hilarious to do. <laughs> <laughs> of course. I really do. Alright, Q. I don't know if I trust you. No, no. This should do it. This one should do it. Oh, you plus four now. How much? 18. Okay. Serial? Eight. T Trusk? 20. <laughs> Hawk Rosh? <laughs> 15. <laughs> Nisa, 21. <laughs> Jesus. Vladislock. It wouldn't be a real fight without Vladislock rolling a four. Mm -hmm. four. Hey, 19. 19. Oh, you're right. Mm -hmm. Solara. 18. Henry. 18. So what's your plus, Solara? Two. So you're behind two. And the monsters. Come on, critical dice. 13. So they're was, right where they are. I was 15, so they'd be cool. Right where they are. Excellent. Misa, you are first. So you see... Uh, so, uh, Solar... No, not Solar. Serial. Throw the door open. And the second the door opens, you're twang, 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 twang and four, bo four crossbow bolts strike him. And, of course, now you hear a whole room full of goblins screaming and cheering. <laughs> really? <laughs> the dogs are mad because somebody walked past the house. <laughs> That's unacceptable. There. Problem solved. <laughs> Problem solved. Can you bark at what you can't see? Oh, yes, you yes, can. Oh, yeah. What is that? It's my light. <laughs> does that make the filming better? Yeah, it actually does. Because it's diffuse. Hot lights are green. You need a big LED light up here. Like the have you seen those now? It's like the garage, the shop lights instead of the fluorescent, it's a huge bank of LEDs. Yeah. They're pretty nice. This point right here? Yeah. 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 All right, I'm going to cast a fog cloud somewhere down there. Okay, and what's the radius? 20 radius. So out to here? Yeah. Okay. Fog cloud. Woo! Okay. So it goes to here. And fills it over. And goes to here. And this is the point, right? Yeah. So. There you go. So if basically this fog bank has moved in. <laughs> Trusk! Are you staying where you're at? Thank you, Bard. Alright, I want to run up. I'll go in this section and then fly in the Oh. 
you flutter. And where's the fog bank stop? Right here. So here, here, here. It's kind of this ring here. Can I see that guy right there in front of me? This one? No, the one to your uh, right. This one? Yeah. No, he's in the cloud. Uh, can I cast Thunder Wave on that spot? Well, Thunder Wave extends from you. It's oh, yeah, it's right. so. catch these two. Okay. You can run up. Yeah, you have I'll to run up there and then do it. You can cast Thunder Grease. I want to run up and catch yeah. thunder. Run right here? Yeah. Thunder wave. Can I get these three? Well, he could go the other way and get... He can't even see him. Like, he wouldn't him. even known anyone no, was yeah, over I here. Could, yeah. So I'm going to cast thunder wave right there. Okay. So, boom. Right there. And it'll knock him against the wall. Sure. No. no. One more. Kaboom! That's what Thunder Wave hits. Constitution saving throw. All right. First one is a seven. Second one is a four. Third one is a thirteen. And that's eleven. Eleven. So they shriek ah! as they get blasted against the wall, and all of them lie lifeless on the ground. So how far did you do? You went 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30? Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Headley! Hold on, i got to mark some goblins, Doug. Hold on. Of course, the, the fog bank getting hit by a thunder wave makes it swirl and churn. That's kind of cool. Yes. Can I throw a gust of wind in there? We're going to blow his fog bank away? All it's going to do is make the fog bank swirl in the room. Like, like a hurricane. Thunder Goblin Nato. Fog Goblin Nato. Sharks, and then we have the shark Nato. Gob Nato. Um, I'll move into the room in the corner next to the door. Okay. okay. You can hear over here just all kinds kinds of screaming and shouting and gnashing of teeth. Chaos. I will. Of course, you can't see anything. But... No. I'll uh, I'll summon a flame spear. Okay. And okay. Where do you want it to appear? Um. To my uh, right in front of me, I guess. Just push it for me. All right. Should use your D20 for that. No, I got you. I need that for a saving throw. I'm sorry, I didn't bring my flaming sphere icons with me. Wait, I might have one. Right. Uh, this works. They can stand on it. See. Yeah. But what's my save, Dex? Yes. All right. Fourteen. Is it just the one that get hit, or? Nope. Don't have them. Yeah, I, can, I can move it up to 30 feet, and if I ram it into a creature, that creature can make a uh, throw, a saving throw, and the sphere stops moving. So just Six. Sphere so gets hit. Uh, Five more. Eight. Eight. <laughs> Loving the crippled dice today. Yeah. Red ones for five. Okay. Uh, four damage. Four damage. So you can hear kind of blood curdling. Scream as the goblin shrieks at being ignited on fire. So that's the this fireball stays there, and yeah, if anybody stops next to it, they take two pieces. Okay, so they have to move out of the way, or else they're screwed. Yeah. Okay. Here. And there. You ever seen one? I, you know, I don't have enough. To 5, do 10, 15, 20. Yeah, I don't have enough to do that. Yeah. I figure we're going to fight. They can't see me anyway. So. You, you got to move into the room. Yeah. Yeah. There's fear in there. You're good to hear. 
and you're gonna be at disadvantage. Can she even see them? No. Because there's the big fog cloud in here. Yeah, cats is heavily obscured. They're actually signed. So how does that work then? If I'm shining through the fog, you just do like a magic. Just yeah, you just roll and see if you hit something. It would be yeah, completely random. Different. It would be firing Disadvantage, blind. yes. So just disadvantage? Wait until something comes out. Sure. Or you can ready it. Yeah, you can re you can move there and ready All right, and so fire it right. the first thing you see. And they'll come running out blind and be like, oh, shit. <laughs> so, Lara. <coughs> goblins. Room is getting crowded. You just want to run into the fog bank? I'm not going to run into the fog bank. That room is pretty spacious compared to most of the It is. It's like the size of this room. Do I have to roll like percentile or do I roll Look like Look at all this room for activities. <laughs> uh, you are going to be basically fighting blind. They're heavily obscured. So you're taking big penalties. That's a concentration. It's like, what, a plus eight to AC probably? No. <laughs> well, heavily obscured. It's like you can't see it at all. Yeah. You can run in there if you want. Well, I saw them before the fog cloud went up. Yeah. So I was right there. Well, you would have seen, like, these guys. They're gone. And they're, yeah. they're, they've been they're smashed they're, into the Their walls. bodies are smeared, like blood smears. What about that other <laughs> archer up against the wall, the little one? But you wouldn't have been able to see him. He's completely obscured. But you could move in there with your big yeah. long weapon above your head, ready to swing at anything. Yeah, any put me bad in there. Alright, just ready? Yeah, ready to attack as soon as they're there. Yeah. 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 Alright. If you have a wall right there. What are you skipping me? Yes. Next Go ahead, Mahakrash. Uh, you want to drop your chest first? No, I'm going to drop it when I come down the stairs. Down the Where do you want to go? What is it to the door for me? Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20 to the door. So in this square. Uh, move one back from there. Here? Yep. The 20? Yep, and I'll drop the chest there, and okay. I will. Ready to shoot bad guys come approaching. I know I, they're going to be partially obscured by him, but... Yeah. Right. Like this. Okay. You got your pistol yeah. resting on his shoulder. <laughs> okay. So that it will deafen him. Yeah. All right. So we'll just do this. There you go. Perfect. I'll leave this back here. Stire. <laughs> right to the back of the head there. All right. Don't move a muscle. Hey, Fredo, want to go for a boat ride? So, so you broke my heart. So. Uh, who else? I know you can speak Goblin. Anyone else speaks Goblin? Well, Jeff, you hear, get through that door! Kill them all! Get through the door! And suddenly, right behind you, Jeff, this door opens. What door? The secret door. Okay. Exactly. Does my ready to action work? No. <laughs> Would my ready to action work? Well, you haven't even gone yet. That's <laughs> how ready to do yeah. <laughs> he runs through the door. Um, the, are you have a weapon in hand? Uh, we don't have a uh, dragon musket right now. So not a melee weapon? No. You can give him the butt of the rifle if you want. He's going to move it here. You hit. D6 damage. There's a club. Two. Two damage. Vote for me. Where are you? Is no, right next to me. No. no, I didn't. I didn't leave your reach. I entered your reach. I think he would have tripped over the chest when he came out. And he's gonna. He's gonna stab. That's where you. the chest was, man. It's in your square. No, he would have tripped over the chest. No, you said you oh. dropped it right here when you moved right. there. I just moved it out of the way. <laughs> All right, he's gonna try to stab you. He runs up and misses. Um, next one. Turn around. Moves to here, tries to stab Vladislav. Ooh, that's a 19, Josh. Let's use some critical dice. 
plus two. Seven points of damage. How are they moving through the blind, the ones that are in the cloud? Well, he was right at the edge of it. But he's still blind. He can move out of it. He doesn't know which way is out. He's, he's, yeah, he's yelling, go out that door. You ever walk through your house in darkness? You know where she is. <laughs> Most of them. Attacking. I guess it'll be Misa. Missed. And I am giving them double moves to get through the cloud. By the way. Uh, Jeff. That's a uh, eighteen. That will hit. Eight points of damage. Ow. That's like half your hit points, so it must be right. I'm trying. <laughs> Mari, suddenly you'll still be at disadvantage, but you can see a, a vague shape appear for in front of you in the cloud. Very disadvantage. I rolled a nineteen, which All is right. a crit because I have it. Um, well, you gotta roll the second crit. one, take the lower roll. Seventeen. So you hit. Okay. Alright, roll your damage. This is your ready to action. It's been a while I've already forgot what my weapons are. D ten. Oh, ten max and damage. You just yeah. completely take his head off. I laugh maniacally. Out. I take my ready to action. Yep. So does Q. What do, What am I at? A minus. You're at disadvantage. At disadvantage. And we notice all these guys have the hit yard marking. On. Yes. Fourteen. You hit. I know. Taking a toll on our Twelve. Ow. Uh, ah. Question: Since I wasn't here for two sessions, is anyone in this area supposed to be kept alive? Probably. Well, besides yeah. him. No. Nope. He's not okay. even supposed to be alive. We just want to capture his stuff. Okay. Uh, I think I killed a couple. We let everyone alive. Alive. Am gets an attack. Just kill whatever. Uh, he's he's gonna try to stick you. Misses. You being headless. There's some goblin slaves left alive above us. Oh. Okay. Do any of them know how to cook? Uh, yeah. One of them they worked it. in the kitchen. One of them ate some bad food. There was a cobalt. Couldn't be any worse than our current cook on the ship. Yeah, that could have quick bit. Ah. Comes from the guy who All right. would eat cabbage. Do you want to want to roll <laughs> cubes this attack? Was, this this is a necromancer. Oh, you hit. That's against that. Was Actually, it's a disadvantage because you're at point blank range. Uh, it's a hit anyway. Okay. 2d6. Oh, reroll a 6. Kaplow! Another goblin bites the dust. Boy, these guys are just murdered. Serial! <laughs> Goblins aren't much. No, they're not much. Every time I'm using them as a DM, I roll more threats with goblins than anything else. Like, completely dismantle the high, like, the fifth level party. I have six goblins one time, and I like four mm -hmm. threats and this. <laughs> what do you want to do, Is Byron? Is there a pack of or a goblin that I go to? Yeah, it's right here. Mm -hmm. Hey, and we rolled your attack for you. You're you're ready to attack. You killed a goblin. Alright, cool. So I spend... You blew his spleen out. Should have been there. It was awesome. <laughs> Is that just a big mug of vodka, yeah? Yeah. It's, it's, it's just white lightning. Spirits. <laughs> That's why I can it together. <laughs> 17 points. What? Again. Yeah, you just push your rapier right through his head. And he's just, he's kind of doing that Terminator 2 thing with the, the yeah. finger. You know, and the guy at the little coffee machine. You're going to have to pay a few for that. Yeah. Could you give him a cookie? I don't care. Jude, you want a cookie? Right there. Oh. You want to run into the cl fog cloud? Yeah. Say thank you, Jude. That way I'm opening you up the path. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Jude. He's Jude. His name's Deuteronomy. Vladislav. He's autistic. He can't talk. It's 
uh, 19 for his devil's Okay. Uh, I'm gonna cast Scorching Ray at the three goblins right in front of me. One You're gonna do one on each? Yep. Alright, now you're at disadvantage on the one directly in front of you. You wanna Let's do that, that one first? first. Uh, that would be a 15. Hit. Alright, roll damage. 2d6. That will be 10 points of damage. Burn him down. Alright, gain 2 points. It's not construct or undead, right? Alright. So I gain 2 points to the 3 harvest. The next one. Are you grimly harvesting? Next one is the one that's right ten feet from me. That would be a nineteen. You hit. That would be eleven points of damage. He goes down. I gain two more points. Poor goblins. God, why are you guys so mean? <laughs> then the one they started in front of me. Twenty-four. Shoot a shooter. shooter. Yeah. Yeah, for six points of damage. Six. He lives. Alright, we made it to round two. You've only killed nine goblins. Out of how many? Twelve. <laughs> well, thirteen. Because of the hobgoblin leader. Misa? Okay. You hit. And he drops. I guess you removed his reaction as well. Yeah. He, he comes with the, he uh, can't twitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was already pretty seared. Most of his hair was gone. His little patch was left. Which is now standing on him. Trusk? Is the bottle uh, still up? Yes. Matt, you want to recenter my figure where he was? You've got me taking up two squares. Yeah. I'll move up in front of that door. Right here? Let me check. Yeah. Okay. You can whack him and then move out of the way. Starting a line up here. Yep. Need a cannon. Uh, Just load him up in there. Start firing up. So yep. That's one for one of these machines. Should we go by the ball parking down? Yep. Eleven. Eleven misses. Oh. Uh, back up and turn. And one that way. All right. He's gonna attack you. Okay. Oh, actually, just right here. Not yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Never mind. Headley? Uh, yeah, you got a fire enough to save for against your fireball, all right? If you need to just turn next to me. He does. Make a deck save, Byron. Of course, you couldn't really see the flaming sphere in the fog bank. He could feel it. There was a glowing fog bank. So you hear your six points of damage, Byron. You would have seen a big fireball. Well, the whole fog bank's a, it's like turning on your brights in a, in a fog. <laughs> like the whole thing's illuminated. You would have felt it. Yeah. Uh, I hear it's him screaming, more. so I push the fireball and launch it straight away from the This way? Yeah. It'll hit the background. Okay. Yes, it does. Should have three resistance. Two. Okay. That's my bonus actually. Here's I'll walk out into the hall. So five ten, you're in the hall. Uh, move me back behind Akrash so I can see you in the door right there. Yeah, you can see there's a secret door that they would push to open. Can I see the guy standing there? Oh, yeah, you can see him. And I'll uh, shoot, throw a fireball, throw a flame ball. Produce flame. by the other thing too, right? No, that guy already died. Oh. <laughs> you know, you mean this guy or this guy? See, he got hit, this guy got hit by the flaming sphere, and then this guy was just hit by the grease flame. Any of those guys don't move until they the flaming sphere. Sure.
Oh, you used your rifle? Yeah. Keep moving. Alright, so you just... You just obliterated <laughs> this little goblin. <laughs> oh. So a fine red mist is all that remains as his body slumps to the ground. Solara! Well, you can run that way. You can see all the fighting going on right here. There you go. There you go. I'll go back that way. So it's 20 feet to here. You can see guys in there. And, the big back. Mm -hmm. and, and they are illuminated by a sphere of fire. Then I will. Huh? This one might not be in the fog. He's not in the fog, no. Neither yeah. one of them are. Who are you attacking? Oh, oh yeah, she comes oh. she was on her. Okay. Um, see, big guy or little guy? Oh. oh. Little guy has a disadvantage because he's around a corner. I'll go for the big guy. Okay. 17? You hit. Just barely. Um. Seven. What'd you roll? Three? Seven? Yep. Because you got the new strength? Yep. Okay. And then the butt of my weapon. Ha! Huh. Got a little Oops. bit of my hit. Okay, you hit. E4. Five? That's it. Yep. Got it. Hawk Rosh! Move next to Q. Okay. You can see him and him. Although Solar is in the light, so you just have to fire through. I'm not going to fire. I'm going to insult the... All right, let's you see. wish your nose was blue. <laughs> what is that, purple? <laughs> Alright, wisdom save? Yes. Four. My nose! Three points of damage. He drops. <laughs> The hobgoblin? Yeah. Yes. I did wish my nose. I was. insulted him to death. <laughs> oh my nose! The monster's turn. So I insult him in goblinoid. He vanishes into the fog cloud. Serial? Already. He didn't get near me. I'll stab him. Okay, Vladislav. He's reading his book. I already ate the dead if the enemy goes through the door. Right. So he gets his triangle out and he's already. <laughs> Misa. Hey, where'd you go? I don't know. I've got the fog. Okay, I'm going to drop my phone. Drop the fog cloud. There he is. He looks around. All of his cover is gone. You can actually see him. I'm gonna shoot him with my pistol. Okay, you're at disadvantage just because there's people in your way. Twelve. Twelve misses. Oh. Ah! He screams as a bullet ricochets around the room. I guess it would be a ball, wouldn't it? Trusk? Put me next to Batman. Uh, Caddy Corner. Right here? Yeah. Okay. Right. I yell surrender. Okay. I'm ready my club. Alright. Headley! Just 
throws his hands up to try to defend himself, and he just his skin begins to boil, all of his hair lights on fire, and he just collapses in the corner. And you've got that that flaming sphere just budding into his unconscious corpse <laughs> over and over again. I remain for the full duration of concentration. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, dinner. All right. <laughs> it looks like these goblins attacked here, managed to surprise the guards that were here, the uh, stockade guards here, and killed them while they were eating dinner. There are a number of corpses on the ground, not goblin humans. Um, but this appears to have been a guard post. Is there anybody or anything in the cell? Uh, no, there's nothing in the cell. Look around search the, the search the camp that the hobgoblin. Huh? No look around on them. All right, you start searching bodies. I'm searching the hobgoblin to start. All right, the hobgoblin has 20 gold pieces on him. Okay. Each Let's goblin, each goblin has 12 silver pieces. There were 12 goblins, so 144 silver. And 20 gold. Anything else? Um, the hobgoblin had chainmail, I think. Chainmail and a shield. Each of the goblins was they're just equipped with an assortment of, you know, goblinoid weapons. All none of them well maintained. Well, those crossbows seem to do their job. Huh. Well, did you note that they did less damage than a typical light crossbow? No. Because yeah. we were doing eight. I was rolling D sixes for D eight yeah. weapons. These were all very dilapidated weapons. And there must be a lot of space in that large. It's a huge ship. It's a lot bigger than the Blind Hangman. Is it a frigate? It is. It's actually a galleon. That has a transport capacity of three. Thousand? <laughs> Thousand. What are you talking about? Yeah, they can pack <laughs> monstrous humanoids. Civilization now. <laughs> civilization. Yeah, that's, that's like three armies that it can carry. Regiments of troops. No, the Gitarish. I mean, he has a. Obviously, the captain has a reputation for extreme brutality and wickedness. Uh, but his. I mean, obviously, he's got a reputation that's very fearful. But uh, he also has one of the most powerful war vessels in the area as well. It's just huge. It carries, you know, fifty gun. It's it's just yeah. frightening. Well, Forty-four guns. Marine frigate. Huh? Taking a I was doing a guesstimate. Guys, You've killed a lot of Yarish men, that's for sure. Yeah, I think that's the third But he's got somebody that can produce uh, yeah. zombies and skeletons, too. Yes. You want to in the room? You always want to search the room? Yeah. I want to see what I would do. I want to see if there's any more secret doors. Oops. What's in the corner? That's a cell, but it's empty. I want to see if there's any more secret doors. Um, there's a, a ring of keys on the wall right next to it, about five, ten feet away from it. I grab the keys just in case. Okay. Okay. Plus six. And there's two co two keys on the ring, and they both appear to be the same thing. Fifteen. Do I find any secret rooms? Um, you search the room for secret doors, and you don't find anything. Get the keys to the room. You want to try them on the cell? No. Okay. Down Is it the more. janitor's key ring? Well, there's only two keys on it. And they're the same key. Okay. I'm starting, I'm starting, I'm starting a short rest. You want to do a short rest? I am. <laughs> Everyone else can move on. Anyone else want to do a short rest? Can or unless you can, can anybody give us some healing? Uh, Clear it. Yeah. Clear it. I can do that. Were you guys really hurt before? Like, well, we were. Am's down what? Seven? Uh, I have one hip point. You have one hip point left? Oh, I'm I fairly hurt. I took the well. to I, I made light wounds, level of hurt. But that's like more than half my hit points. So. Is there other people hurt? Nope. So he's really hurt. Uh, the only way I. Because I, I got right. almost as much as most of our fighters do. No, it's, it's cool. The only way I can do heal your you fountain. enough is I'll do a healing spirit. 
Oh, there you go. So anybody who wants to go touch the healing spirit, you can do it up to ten times. It lasts for a minute. So we'll all be full. And you get, I can do, you get a D six every time you touch it. Wow. So we'll all be full. So roll ten D six and hope that you don't roll below average. He's gonna roll. Well, well, he can do it for a minute, but more than one person can touch it in each round, right? Yeah, everybody. Right, can. but he's. This is how much healing possible. Oh, the maximum so to every, any one person. So right. Every time you touch it, you can get a DC. Got it. We're just lumpy. Got it. Yeah. I rolled good. All right, so everyone's healed. Yay. I didn't need it, but I touched it anyway. Um, what did you say? No, I only. Thirty-seven. Okay. That's how much damage I took. There you go. So it's worth rolling, is what I'm saying. Yeah. 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 That's good because I was hurting quite a bit too. What are the keys? I would like to We're sitting here doing that. I don't know. Look over the keys. What do they look? They're just like skeleton keys, you know, like old, old-fashioned looking keys. Most of them worth the cell. You want to try it on the cell? Go over the cell, and yeah, it operates the lock on the cell door. There's one, one key. There are two keys there exactly the same. Hey Josh? Yeah. Will you run up to the room and grab the fan from my room? And just plug it in up there and just aim it this way. Are you hot? Yeah, I'm really hot. Yep. It's warm. I think I get my sweater. Well leave my jacket right behind you. It's right behind you. I'm not sleeping so I don't want to Okay. Um So what do you guys want to do at this point? What about the guards? Search the guards. Yeah, they're they've already been stripped. I'll uh, I'll, well, while everybody else is getting ready, I'll cover this door down here. Okay, and like I said, there's bodies in this area. They're all goblinoids. What kind of wounds do they have? Um, looks like cutting wounds. Start swooping down from the ceiling, almost scythe like, and you need to make a, a <laughs> dexter. That's fun. And they're heading down the hall at you guys. Yeah, You did half damage. Oh, good. So you take six. Look to find where to shut this off at. All right. Well, they're still coming at you, and it, it looks like what it is is there's, um, you know, the blades came down and hit him. Yeah. And then they came went up in the ceiling. The next set comes down. The next set comes down. Next, and they're just coming at you. The hallway trap. I step right, back I'll in here. Vladislav, Nisa, make deck saves. I'm gonna step back into the room. Yeah, I just side step into that. Is this room. magic? They end in the Misa oh, like and Vladislav's Vlad 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 no. crap. 16. So you both take half damage. 
So three. And there's definitely pressure plates in on the floor in the area where you walked. Huh? I guess I'll look for more. Okay. It's not Joe Cheese. Is that an investigation? Yes. What'd you get? You don't see anything. I mean, the square where you're standing, you kind of you can see the pressure plate you stepped on because it's depressed right now under your foot. You haven't you haven't raised your foot yet, oh, uh, but you don't see anything. But you don't see anything on the squares in front of you in the space. I'll, in front. I'll kneel down. Okay. Just in case. The penitent may have trouble. Yeah. I've seen these spikes. Where do they? Before. Where do they stop at as they're coming through? This right here is the last area. Okay. And, I, and it actually happened much faster than what I described. Yeah. You know. So, I mean, they, they did go in a sequence, but it was like really fast, you know. Okay, I'll move up there to him. To him right here? Yeah, I'm checking as I go. Okay, so he's standing on a pressure plate right now. Alright. I will if I look. Okay, I will make your uh, please tool check. 20. Okay, it's disabled. <laughs> Tap a couple wedges in. All right. Okay. Just take pressure off. All right. I'll move back. Mm. Back. Okay. There's a button. So Six you seven. found. Still keeping my head down. You found a pressure plate in this square, and it's disabled. I'll check the square next to it. Okay. Bodies in the hall are all get yarish men. And uh, yeah, there's rats and stuff chewing on the bodies. Some of them have literally crawled inside of their bodies as they chewed their way in. That's why the rats are all filthy gross. So I listen to the door. Okay. At the door. Uh, 19. 19. You don't hear anything. Matt, can you please put me behind the road? Check it for traps. Is trapped. Disabled in 24. It is disabled. And you're a hot dice tonight. On oh, the disables, he doesn't. On the searches, he does. Um, open the lock, or is it locked? Okay, it is down. not locked. Okay. It's inviting you to trip that trap. Ready? Behind you at the ready. Oh. I guess I don't need to open it. I'll <laughs> slide the door open. Strength. Okay. Open the door. Damn. It's one of the ones at the grocery store that I'm making open. Yeah. Except it's broke. Strength has to keep it closed. Oops, wrong marker. Look at me. Here we go. It 
this the trap you disabled would have launched just a volley of spears forward from that point. But you disabled it. You have to get the spears out. You want to mess with it? They're they're under a lot of tension right now from the spring mechanism. Yeah, that might be, not be a great idea. Hey, Bart, come check plus, this out. Plus, if someone comes, I can always <laughs> be a I can all, I can always reset it. So if someone comes in behind us, like the captain. I know you guys are plotting. I'm talk here. Step on the side. I'm, I'll move to the corner and look around down the hall. I'm updating my spell. Oh. You have it now. I was X or X to say the chest. <laughs> yes. I'm taking the chest with us as we advance. All right. So you look around the corner? Yes. Passageway. As long as I can see all both directions. I'm going to kind of stick my head around the corner there. See if I can see anything up the hallway. All right, you look up the hallway. Square towards back. Yeah. And there is an enormous web the chest to trap to in the hallway, him. about 30 feet up the hall. Looks like a fresh web, and in the center of it, you see a dead individual. Just, just his, he looks freshly dead. There's blood pouring out of Does several wounds on him. No, but he's he's like caught in the center of this huge web. That, like I said, it looks fresh. Oh. All right, I'll yell back and tell everybody there's a spider web up ahead with a body in it. It's a very small body. <laughs> a large spider web. With a body of a human big ass spider. Can't you want to go look? No, not really. Did you find any traps? Uh, he didn't find any traps, though. No. Yeah, I haven't looked yet. I was flying with that ring. I had to look to be honest. Yeah, the shims are in. Oh. Josh, can you get the shims out, please? I was just worried about you, Byron. I didn't want you to be on a trap. Yeah. I don't right, care right about those other guys. <laughs> it ran up the hall. I don't know. <laughs> it is what I did. Grenade. That was stupid. <laughs> Byron, you know, what do you want to do? I'm going to check the door for now. Okay. 
19. Uh, you don't find any traps. Uh, well, I mean, you want to try it? You can't really tell just by looking. Yeah. It doesn't feel locked. Well, it's got a knob. Alright, are we entering here or we can? Or are we checking down the hall? I do open that door. There's a spider running around the hall, so the hall there's locked. True. You open that door? Burnt. Yep. I'll okay. And the normal and slide to the side. And I'm at the ready to attack any enemy. Uh, it's the yeah, I think it's the boo. <laughs> into a short hallway. The air is cool and damp, but the area ahead appears to be totally deserted. Up here. Hmm. Hmm. Here. I disbelieve at the moment. Disbelieve? I check the ceiling. Well, air feels good. You look at the ceiling? Yeah. It's a stone ceiling. around the corner, and in the corner of the room, towards you, mm -hmm. um, there's a table, some extremely dried out horse meat, mm. oh, yeah. <laughs> and a mug that's filled with some sort of liquid, but over time it's developed some sort of film on the top. It looks like this has been abandoned for some time. On, the, on a stool next to the table, there are a pair of leather boots that are badly worn. like it just dried out on the plate. It could be months old for all you know. Looks like some sort of watered down mead. Oh, the boots. Um, a gold coin falls out of one. Okay. Not the gold coin. I grabbed the gold coin. Boots are gonna produce a gold coin every day. Okay. Did the coin land on heads or tails? Um. Tails. <laughs> I think that's perfect way to do it. Yes, it is. Secret door. 
Twenty-four. All right. You don't find any traps on that secret door. Okay. I'm right behind him. You hear ah! As you open the door, and huddled in the corner, you see uh, kind of a, a weaselly looking human. <laughs> drag him out. You drag him out. In the middle of the room. He's really. He probably weighs maybe a hundred and twenty pounds, soaking wet. He's about five foot six. He's got long, greasy hair. Both weapons out. He's got his hands up. He doesn't have any weapons. And he says, uh, uh, "Don't are you with the Kit Yarish? You know, uh, uh, I, I, I don't. I, you don't have to kill me. I, I, I can help you. Who are you? Uh, well, uh, they, 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 they just call me Tom. But I whistle like a giraffe to alert everyone." Whistle like a whistle like a giraffe. <laughs> that's our that's our group signal. Kaka, kaka, kaka. This, you know, you don't have to hurt me. I, I. We don't have to, but we want to. Why do you want to? It's fun. What do you know, Tom? It's just what we do. The Gigaris attacked today. Where's Trotter? Who? Who? Oh, yeah, him. Yeah. Ah, well. He he's deeper. He he's in this complex. He's in the caves, but he they they opened all. Uh, they let all the animals out. What animals? What, uh, there, this place, this place collected fighting animals. Is there a fighting giraffe? Giant box oh. Oh. I didn't, I didn't get to the safe house in time. But now this place is crawling with Where's monsters. Where's the safe house? It's pretty far from here. I, I tried to get out, but the Irish men were waiting on the other side of the door. Was there, is there a way out You're going to take us to the safe house. I, I, I don't, we'll never make it that far. Was there any snakes that I'd bind him. Here? Okay. Bind his hands. Bind him? Tie his hands. You, you're, why don't you just kill me now? You're, you're, you're killing me. Because we need you to tell us where the safe house is. It's in the, at the end of the complex. Well, you're going to show us. I can't, we'll never make it. Yeah, we'll make they keep it. Maybe not you, but most of us would make it. So I'll tie him. Somebody else carry the chest. Sure. All right. So I'll tie him, keep the lead of rope, and then I'll gag him. Okay. You'll gag him? And I'll tell him, when we get to an intersection, signal me, pull the rope, let me know. I... We're, we're never going to make it. We're screwed. When we get there, you let me know which way to go, but we're going to gag you so you don't scream and warn your friends. But I... I'm not... No! Don't gag me. Don't gag what it. do I... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> when we get to each corner, indicate which way we need to go. If there's any traps, warn us ahead of time. If anyone gets killed oh. by a trap... You will be killed. <laughs> Do you know yes or no? <laughs> what? <laughs> Quiet. Yes or no? <laughs> Nod your head for yes. Shake it for no. Are you going to cooperate? <laughs> yes or no? Be quiet. Don't make any warnings. Tug on the rope when we get to corners. That's not a rope. Tug grab a miniature for Tom. It's the baton pass in the Olympics. Whoa, well, that's not the baton. Hey. 
Alright, here's a tom right here, nice and chained up. Here's a tom. So I'll keep his rope held. And I guess Mari's carrying the chest now. Oh, he's carrying it. Okay. Okay. Alright. Slide us on. I don't think we'll be doing it. You're a fighter. You're a fight. He grows wheels. So around the corner. I'll be here in the back. Tom. Lucky the mage with his wheelbarrow wheelchair. Tom. I'm gagging. We're asking what kind of spider's down here. You ungag him? Quietly. Tell me about the spider. I, I told you they let all the monsters out. All the fighting monsters. Tell they're me. Supposed, they're supposed to be quietly, so... Quietly. Calm. Calm. We can't go this way. Calm. Tell me about the spider. I don't know. It's a giant spider. There's bunches of them. There's bunches of spiders. Six? How what many do they a, do? How many is a bunch? They eat people. I don't know. I'm not a spider person. You're worrying off your usefulness. Well, they're huge, and they spin webs, and they got big, pointy teeth. They, they spit webs? Yeah, they spin webs. Spin webs. Speak venomous. calmly. Calm down. Let's see here. Tom. Mm -hmm. Knock, knock. Who's there? Gestapo. <laughs> Gestapo who? I ask the questions around here! Gagging you again. Be quiet. History. Gag him again. Okay. The history of All right. Please. There's the web spell. I don't actually know anything about nature. I'm from the sea. Oh. Sea webs. He knows about rats. Okay. Yeah, if it's a rat, I know all about it. <laughs> City druid. <laughs> Stray cats. He's got that. <laughs> That's his summon that. spell. He summons a horde of stray cats. <laughs> <laughs> and like, the hall, like I said, the, the webs look really fresh, meaning there's not a whole lot of like dust caught up in them. Here I have a flask of oil. Why don't we just take one of the lanterns down off the wall? Okay. I, well, I, hold on. Now, I, I, wait, I we gotta call Jim to, to We gotta call fire. Jim and so find out if spider webs are really flammable Man. or not. Uh, He's There's already answered that for us. I don't believe him. You don't believe him? That they burn out too fast? <laughs> I never get tired of seeing that picture. I know that the ones that are choked with dust are really Why flammable. Why are we even bringing you out on the nest? I know. Why don't you just, yeah, produce your flame and let's see if we can get yeah, through there. Yeah, I'll just produce flame. Alright, put Headley down there. I can throw it. I'm not going to be right there. Not right now. No, but you were, you were at the wrong hallway. Yeah, yeah. No. So Position the rest of the matrix, please. I got the please. treasure box, too. Put it down and down behind me. Actually, I'm not going to be next to Edwin. I'll stay in the back with Tom. I'll stay right where I was at. And Tom, before any traps, will tug the rope to let us know. What? He's no. a gag. You tug the rope to let me know if there's traps or which Are you tugging the rope? Yes. This is a really bad idea. Is there a trap? <laughs> There's spiders. Isn't that trap enough? You let us know. He tugs the rope. <laughs> yes. You think we can just go back out the other way? I am back out. You're going to tell us the right way to go. If you don't, you will die. The other way is blocked. This is the he only can, way out now. He can always go I, in front of me. I throw a fire blast into the webs. Okay. Alright, so the, the fireball just cuts right through the web, no problem. The body caught in the center of it kind of lurches and falls a little bit. He's moving. <laughs> <laughs> just throw a couple more. Yeah, I'll just keep throwing them and kind of burn us path through. Okay. 
So eventually the, the body collapses on the ground. Nope. Just lays there on the ground. Do I see any spiders hiding on the ceiling or anywhere? No, you look up on the ceiling, you don't really see anything. Um, but there are a lot of grooves and cracks in the ceiling. Of course not. Alright. Hold it in. Big grooves and cracks? Uh, <coughs> Should trick that body before we kind of room to keep an eye out. Where are they? Alright. Oh, uh, in here? They're, uh, oh, the they're in the, the box. <laughs> so no diet do something. They're on the side. They're in the box out. Checking for traps to that first door. You don't see any traps. First uh, door. No. I'll listen. Do we have a uh, hundred GP for a four and small pearls? I have a amethyst pearl. thing. Add it. Silver? Oh. <coughs> I guess I can guess it is. So the door isn't locked, mm -hmm. it's slightly ajar. What's in this room? <laughs> that room, what's in it? I'm gonna un un gag him. Yeah, take him it's a storeroom. He says storage. It's, yeah, it's slightly open. I'm wondering if the spiders aren't in here. Is it leading anywhere or is it just a room? Is it's there just anything storage. valuable in there? That's another question I ask. Is there a secret room? So there's like questions coming from three different directions now. Listen to me. What is stored in there? <laughs> what is stored in there? It's just, it's it's stuff that Captain Trotter brought here to sell. Treasure. Yeah, it could be. But it is open. Is there a secret passageway through that room? Not that I'm aware of. If there is, and you didn't tell us that, I'm going to have to kill you. Why are you talking like that? <laughs> That's skin, dude, for real. He's stuck in his ear at the same time. I don't know of any no, secret door. You need to be quieter. Listen, listen. I'm just a normal guy. You know, they don't trust me with secrets like secret doors. Well, you better hope that you know enough of them to keep yourself alive. Um. Puts the lotion on its body, or else it gets the whole thing. We want to look in here? Yeah. Oh, what? Yeah, it's open. Yeah. Matt didn't even hear that one. I heard it. It <laughs> might go around. It puts the lotion on its body. It's all burnt off now. Yeah. I walk up to the door, and I... I gag him again. Look around. Like, you know, just, like, open it, or...? No, well, I'm gonna, like, look through the crack and look up inside, you know. Are you looking in the, in the hall or in the room? I've already been looking at the, the doorway. Yeah. So now I'm going to walk the, the door. The door is like this far open. I see it. Like an inch open. I look through the hole. It's dark. You don't really okay. see anything. Make a little fireball. Okay. Do you want to push the door open more? Just a little bit. Okay. You see lots of crates, barrels, and chests. Get some minis, Josh. You're serious. Fireball. Keep it. Back when he came up. It's the wrong marker. Damn dwarves. How do you know it's the wrong marker? It's lighter color. <laughs> oh. so, I will. Uh, does the door open out or in? In. Kick the door and then step back. Alright, kick the door and step back. This room is filled with chests, bundles, and crates of various trade goods. Doesn't appear to be any movement inside. Do you need me to go in with my long pokey stick and make sure nothing's moving? No, I'm Just put me right behind him. I'll step in. 
inside with my little fireball. I'm covering the door. Alright. I will investigate the uh, different stuff. The door creaks open. Apparently. I'll look in the spot. Alright, you start looking around. There's nothing that's really um, interesting initially, but you do begin to hear a hissing noise. <coughs> sound like a rat or a snake? Not like a snake, but it's like a like a bizarre hissing noise. Does it come from a specific location? Towards the back of their chamber. Okay. Twenty-two. Something's back there. There's you can see a crate that's kind of the lid is is uh, been pried off and it's kind of sitting on top of the crate, cockeyed so it doesn't fall in. Like the lid is askew on yeah. top of it. I like use my pokey stick to try to get the lid to fit down on it. Uh, well, there's a bunch of nails and stuff. Yeah. It's not going to move. I'll, uh, I'll go look in cautiously. Look into one of them. Slip through the top. All right, so you can see all kinds of straw and shipping material in there, and you see all this fine china wrapped up in there. There's a hissing noise coming from the interior. Identify the noise of the Um, you could give me a d20 roll. Eight. Um, you really don't know what that could be. Could be a fuse. It's not a sizzling noise. It's a hissing noise. Is there anything heavy in the room? Yeah, there are tons of crates and chests and barrels. Tons. Well, there's fine shots. Pick up a chest and put it down on top of the lid. Okay. Now, okay. Let's just leave that one. Look at the rest of the stuff. Okay. So you go off into the other corner, and more of that hissing begins. Like, yes, yeah, so when you move into a new corner of the room. I have no idea. Oh, did you want to gag him? No. I, 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 I had no idea what it was. If it's snakes. You go on it. Go. Go for you it. You want to go check it out? Yeah. You're a mute. Yeah. Yeah. So so go in there. Open up that crate. Uh, where's the hissing noise coming There's hissing coming from the back corner, which one? your left corner, and then there's which one? hissing coming from a crate that the lid is slightly ajar, and it's full of china, so like uh, fine... Like, Plates. There's a crate on top of that crate. I think I will investigate the one with China. Alright, so you want to take the chest off that she yeah. put on top? Okay. Yeah. Can you take it off? You open the lid? Yeah. Alright, you open the lid and you can see all these fine dinnerware in there. Face full of snakes. Do an investigation, Josh. Uh, 25. Alright, so you see Vladislav lifts something out of the chest. And you go, the hissing gets really loud, and then you hear crunch, crunch, crunch as he's chewing on something. Then he turns around, he's got a handful of big two inch cockroaches. He says, It's all right. <laughs> he's a snake that person, he likes the cockroaches, nasty. right? But they're big two inch long hissing cockroaches. All right. <laughs> Okay, 
go back in and see if there's anything about Tastes it. Tastes good. Take. Swallow it whole. <laughs> Alright. Um, you search the room. There's a, there is all kinds of uh, pots and pans and ship, you know, uh, goods that would have been uh, sold in markets around the world, but uh, nothing of no real value. If you wanted to take the china, it weighs several hundred pounds, but it could be worth a lot of gold. Yeah, we know where it is. We'll make note of it. Yeah, let's, let's get ready to go to the corner. Okay. Tom, you know are there any there. traps? Oh, are there any traps in the next door? Yeah. Oh, I'll gag him. What's what? in that room? Oh, you ungag him? Yes. Well, it's, it's another storeroom. For what? What kind of storage? Well, uh, just stuff. What kind of stuff? I don't know. We haven't put anything in there a long time because Trotter hasn't been raided as much as usual. Thank you. Oh, are there any traps in there? No. Thank you. So you won't mind doing them first. <laughs> I was wondering if you could check it. Twenty-seven. All right, traps on the door. That might creep me out without creeping Tom. Poor Tom. Why is he so mean? You don't find any traps. That's good, good Tom. Good boy. The game stuff is fine. Just the real you making that voice. <laughs> <laughs> In real life, oh, well, it's creeping out. Push the door. <laughs> Now you push the door open. I'm just imagining sitting around a campfire somebody hearing that voice. <laughs> Why would you be stupid enough to go camping with someone with that voice? I didn't go with him, that's the problem. He just shows up. He just shows up. The voice is coming from the woods. Two hands on the shoulders. Welcome to my camp. Jeff, you always want to support Where are you? There you are. To be with that voice all day long. Alright, so you step over the body and then it'll all away. I'll search that body while I'm in. All right. Uh, you search the body carefully. Um, you find that his body has been drained of its blood. Um, Vlad of Stock tells us that. His, his body is, isn't much more than like a shriveled husk. Uh, but he does have a pouch with ten platinum pieces in it, and kind of rattling around his finger, his shriveled finger is a ring. I guess I'll, I guess I'll just cut off the finger to get the ring. And the ring looks, the ring looks interesting to you. I'll take the ring. Well, you're not you taking got it. it. Jeez, you don't even know there's platinum Greedy pieces. person, you step back. Vladis <laughs> Lock. You got you got a handful of cockroaches to eat anyway. Yeah, and, said, right. and you know that it's a desiccated food. corpse, so you're too busy like sticking your finger in its orifices and stuff. <laughs> oh. All right, I'll look at this ring. You have fresh cockroaches and desiccated corpse. You're you're in hog heaven. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell. I'll, hey, wizard, identify that. You guys want to take ten minutes for him to identify it? Well, you can do that while we search the other room. Yeah, we'll be in here, and you identify this room. Stay out of my way. <laughs> Only. All right, so, Josh, you begin working on that ring. Meanwhile, the rest of you guys... <laughs> so what? where is everyone's <laughs> miniatures at right now? I'm, I'm going to move up to the edge and of the corner. And and keep so we're where you're at? No, the, the far corner. And I'm, I'm going to keep Tom there. And I'll peek the around the corner. Who is in front, trap checking. Okay. Or searching. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll move up to the corner next to Jeff. Don't forget our chest. Oh, I got it. That's what you got. Oh, Headley has it. Yeah, I don't He's got the big crossbow. Yeah. And when you were here? Yeah, he's he's playing with the body. <coughs> Vladislav, where are you? Uh, you collected <laughs> about 15 cockroaches and have them in a little pouch for you to eat later. Snacks. They're, they're they're high in protein, <laughs> and they and they do protest as you chew on them. <laughs> but you like that? Yeah. 
Just bite the head off and slurp it out. Like a go <laughs> so, so uh, as as you go to open the door, Tom finally p- tugs on the rope. Stop. Well, you know, there there might be a reason we don't use that that storeroom anymore, too. You know. Uh, You'd better muffle with me, right? Well, some of the boys some of the boys said it was haunted, and. There's spirits in there. Haunted. Spirit. is haunted. Haunted. So what's our Clary think about that? That's you. Should be or you. Too. You'll be taken care of. By the way, what's down this hall? I don't believe so in what, a ghost. What makes <laughs> it haunted? <laughs> no. The, the spirits. Well, the, that hall. You don't want to go down that hall. What spirits? He's down, down this hall. The way you peek the around the corner. Place. You peek around the corner and you see two giant spiders squashed against the walls. It's, it's a trapped hall. Is the safe house down this way? Well, we gotta go that way. Where's yeah. Where's the safe house? We're pretty far from it still. Is it down this hallway? Well. It's pretty far away yet. What? It's not. We gotta go that Is way. It down this hallway. Well, okay. eventually it goes over. It's a long way away. Okay, be quiet. Time back up. Okay. <laughs> All right. Speaker muffled. Tiger. Identify that ring yet? Someone. I'm working on it. Well, you got a stopwatch running? Not getting paid the by the hour. Is that a union? You want to go to a hard room? Anyone? 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 So the room? store there yeah, is supposedly sure. haunted, according to yeah, we'll Dick Watt here. Alright. You want to check it the door? Like, it, it, it feels like we're being yeah. slowed down for some reason. Yeah, you know, we're dragging yeah. the lawyer. But it's almost yeah. purposely slowing us. Yeah, you know check what? Here. Hold on. Before we check the memorial, Tom, are you trying to delay us? Delay? Look, I'm telling you. Told me to tell you there's a trap. What's the fastest way? Look down the hall. You can see the spiders are squashed. What's the fastest way to get to the safe house? Well, down this hall, but after this hall, which way do we go? Well, down another hall. Well, there's a whole bunch Is of it halls. Left or right? Give me directions. Draw me a map. Well, my hands are tied. If I go down this hallway. Ready? Here we are. I go down this hallway. How much further until we turn? So here we are. I'm going down this hallway. How far do I go? That looks upside down to me. I don't know. I think we might kill or be killed by whatever's in there. Club with all the goblin guts on the end of it. Yeah, that's disgusting. Are you going to help me or not, Tom? I'm trying to help you, but yeah. Ah! He opens the door. I'll brain him with the hatchet. You kill him? Yeah. All right. So Tom's dead. I'm tired of Tom. Hawkrush is just wailing into him, chopping no, him. No, I just, I just. I just brained him. Poor Tom. He didn't ever do anything to you. We were going to go into the room with the ghost. How's that boy? <laughs> Alright. We going into this room? He just I opened gave him it. an opportunity. Yeah. He tried to help you. No, he didn't. You saw, he said the next hall was trapped and you saw the two squash spiders. And as soon as you open this door, it appears to be a storeroom. There are piles of trade goods that are covered in dust and appear to have been appear to not have been touched in a really long time. Suddenly there's a hair raising moan and the clanking of chains. And a luminescent shape begins to form in the figure of a wasted elf with ghostly chains. 
normal. He appears to be uh, covered in wounds and scars that he received while being tortured by the pirates. Trust. There is Suddenly, a ghost in here. Um, shut the door. He kind of. With an X. You gonna shut the door? You gonna shut the door? Yeah. Shut the door. Mark it with an X. Okay. Speak over. Over. This is basically the same thing. All right. So you shut that door. Maybe he's a friend of ghosts. Move to the hallway. All right. Did you get find that ring yet? I kicked Tom. I'm working on it. It's probably been ten minutes. Probably. I'll get it for you. It is magical. Ooh. What about the boots that keep yours in the corner? Right on the door, down the side, a little bit. Yeah. What about these boots in the in the crate? Are they magical? Are you gonna take another ten minutes for the boots? Well, can't you just detect magic? No, it it's, it's a first level spell. Oh, it takes ten minutes to detect magic. If he you wants to cast it at a ritual and not use no. it a first level spell. Oh, okay. We'll yeah, worry we'll, later. We'll the only person that can do then I believe if you cast it, it takes a minute. We'll worry later. No, it takes one action. So if you cast uh, identify, it takes one minute. Yeah. Gems are set into the face of this dark brown stone ring. Ah, I can get it in the opening there. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. I'm waiting for that. What is it Pass it around. Nice. It's a ring of dark vision. Item. Ring of dark vision. You don't have dark vision, Am. Anyone else not have dark vision? I don't. I, don't. I, I have don't. dark vision. I have dark vision. I do. I don't. I don't know the You don't. I can, I can turn into animals if I really need it. So. Okay. Huh? We can roll off for it. I might. Okay. Ranged to attack would be good to have. There we go. It takes an hour to attune to it. Hmm. Alright, what do you guys want to do now? Do it on the hallway. Do it on the This hallway is trapped, according to Tom. And Tom, is that right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I oh. Is that right? I can't. Because <laughs> right. I walked up there, I kicked him. I'm like, quit laying down. What happened to him? He was stalling. The bard happened. That's what I am. bard. Uh, I'll move down to right before the spiders. So I said, let me ask you a question. Where? Right before where um, the spiders are splashed. Okay. I'll stay back in the corner. Be careful. Oh, I can take the chest back now. Okay. Chest, well, Byron, you have to go up there, and a pit opens up under you. I um, Well, he needs to make a dexterity save. Not like that. Even with advantage. Alright, there's a nine. So you plummet Oof. ten feet. Take five points of damage. And uh, those spiders are squished against the walls, though. Yes. And you guys hear a bunch of mechanisms go off. Click, 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 click. I immediately lower my weapon down for him to grab. Okay. Is it going off here in the pit? Yes. And above where she is. Look to 
disable it now. So you'll, you're going to spend the round to investigate? Sure. So she's saying, grab my weapon, grab my weapon, and you stop to investigate? Yeah, I'll grab it. All right. Make an uh, athletics check. No. Nope. All right, so go ahead and give him one, one roll. All right. Natural 20. All right, so you yank him out of the hole. Fling him behind me. And just keeps going. A, uh, <clears throat> the walls of that pit down below slam together and then slowly begin to reset. And you both need to make deck saves. And the walls, right where you're standing, what did you get? Twelve. So you guys both are able to dive back before the walls where you're standing slam together. Interesting. Is that all the way back to that corner? Yeah. There's no hall, there's no doors in this hallway. It just extends... Um, does the hallway, does, does it reopen the after they slam? Very slowly. Okay. I'll start looking right here. Okay. Move through while it's resetting. Go, go. Well, the pit's still open, too. Oh. So, yeah, I think we should run while we're 26. What are you trying to do? I'm looking for the, the plate that sets us off. Okay. Well, right now everything's resetting, so you can't really spot anything. Okay. This I think we should go through while it's reopening. stay behind. This pit is still open. You want to drop down to the bottom of the I pit? I like the pressure points that don't go How off until the, the fourth person crosses them. Huh? How wide is the pit? It is 20 feet across. Oh, okay. That's not good. I guess we wait till it resets and then... Uh, Trust in Rogue to navigate our way through this. <clears throat> so what are you going to do while you wait? It's probably going to take several minutes for it to reset. Really? Identify the boots. <laughs> really I, you really want me to identify these boots? Hmm? Old, dirty pair of boots. Do the, do the, do the boots look... They're like worn and leathery. They look like they fit on a small pair of feet. Should see if that bit closes back. So it takes several minutes. Okay. So first the walls have to retract. And once that's done, the, the pit comes back up again. Yeah, I think I'll try. Let's see if I can try to identify it. Once the walls are closed. All right, so Josh starts identifying the, the boots. What is everyone else doing? I'm standing guard over the person. I'm watching this thing. You're, you're investigating that area? Yep. Yeah. Alright. That corner or where are you investigating? What do you What do you drag on here? Right there? It was dead. Okay. Yeah. I'll check my corner. Yeah, Tom. Tom. I'm gonna smash Tom's skull with my four close. Yep. Make sure he doesn't come back alive. Seventeen. He already caved his skull in. Okay. I axed him. You axed him. Mm -hmm. 16. Uh, you don't find anything right there in front of you. 17, I'm checking my corner. Just that, that corner? Yeah. Mara, you find a secret door right next to you. Hey, it's here, here. Hmm. Where? Here. Yeah. Here. Right next to her. Yeah. Headed right. north? I think yep. it's a utility closet. Another one. Can we find another Tom in here? Oh, well, I guess we're going to find out. Motherfucking uh, uh, trap. Uh, you don't find any traps. Everyone, try to slide it open. Back. You want to open it? All right, there's a hallway there. It's only five feet wide and extends north uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 feet to a dead end. That's way. Yep. 
Although from your side, you can see you're on the not secret side of a secret door. Does that make sense? So on the opposite side of the wall, it's secret. secret. I'm going to clear the board so we can refresh our map. Josh, you realize those boots are just old and smelling. But you can tell them that they're anything you want them to be. We kept him busy for a good ten skin. minutes. Here, identify this old jock strap. <laughs> <laughs> no. This I feed them cockroach, but I'd be magical. Magically delicious. That is a so, girdle of athletic support. <laughs> Tom is dead. Nika. Alright, so who wants to check out the secret door at the end of the hall? Like I said, you're on the mechanism side of the secret door. So you can see its inner workings. It's not trapped. I'm right by You don't find any traps on the way down. Okay. And it just dead ends? At a secret door. Is that another one? Yeah, that's what I said. Wow. You're on when at the you're on the not secret side of the secret door on this on the opposite end. So you went through a secret door, you see a fifty foot long tunnel, and you can see all the gears and what out of the of a secret door, which would be secret on this side of the wall. Yeah. Super secret. <laughs> I can turn into a giant seahorse. <laughs> I just flop there on the ground. Not well in the water. It has a oh, charge wow. attack. So, and it's a large. Someone could ride it open though for <laughs> easy from this side. So yeah, do you want to oh, open man. it? Maybe I'll open it. It's fast. I'm wearing orange shirt and oh. green pants. Thank you. So Byron, and then Mari's second. Yes. I'll be behind them. Trust. I'll be behind trust. 20, I'll bring up the rear. 22 for a listen. I'm listening at the door. Alright. You hear a very strange clacking noise. Do not ring. Like, uh. sounds like something clacky. Like if this were hitting that wood pillar there. Does it sound like those beetles? What beetles? Like John, Paul, George, and Ringo? No, like the ones we were in that one cave. Okay, no. Does it sound like Morse code? It's got the same rhythm. You know Morse code? No. Is there a pattern? Yeah, that's what I'm listening for. Make an intelligence check. Will I be able to hear this? Yeah, I'll make a perception. Uh, that would be... Like a 7. 20. You don't hear any pattern to it. 20 perception. Yeah, you can hear the, the clacking. Let's see if there's a pattern. Uh, 21. You don't really... There's not, like... There's no discernible pattern, but you're only listening to 20, 30 seconds worth. The world is gone, Matt. Yeah. There's clacking on the other side of this secret door. That's why I was doing this. We can't figure out a different side of it. Steel on like steel or something like that? Yeah, it more sounds like wood against wood. Wonder you don't hear any kind of rhythm or anything. The ripples of water pushing. 
to this mic open back in the cage where we said you'd die in. Whatever it were. Some of the critters. That was a different island. This is a new island. Oh. A fresher island. A fantasy island. <laughs> the plane, boss! <laughs> you want to open it? Um, Might as well. You ready? I'm always ready. Or behind you, open out, ready to go. Out. Up. It Down. slides. It's like a pocket door. All right. Already a toll the dead if I see something. If I see an enemy on the roof side. I am ready to attack. Just lightning bolt on this line of us. No. Prescription pain pills down here? Yes. Could I have one or two? Yes, it's in the small bottle right there. All right. He says, How much can you afford? Uh -huh. <laughs> that one. That one. Ooh. <laughs> That's. I probably can use one of those <laughs> Monday. Crunch these up and. Ibuprofen. A habit you can't work. work. <laughs> oxy. What are these little blue pills you have over here, Matt? Which blue pills? Oh. The gray pills? <laughs> the old ones. I bet the, some 500 hour energy will make you know. Yes, some 500 yeah. hour. Yes, the, you know what that is? That's called cocaine. <laughs> No, <laughs> or methamphetamines. All right, Josh. That's fine. We've heard enough about your 500-hour injury. I was just going to take your hydrocodone and crush it up and snort it. Snort it? Uh, oh, wait, that's probably going to get us a strike. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. Appreciate it. I'm, I'm pretty sure someone trying to give out the recipe for creating map. There he is. That's who I was looking for. Well, those aren't banned, actually. Those yeah. videos are on YouTube. What's that? Recipes to make math. Yeah, that makes sense. Those are banned. But if Byron talks about hand loading, that's not that. That's a strike. All right. So you open the door, and there are these enormous creatures with huge hooks for arms. They're horrible. The horror! The hook horror. Would my ready Hold on, Josh. Hold on. Re relax. Did calm down, that, Josh. Josh <laughs> calm down, Josh. Josh, seriously, it's calm a, down. Uh, plus five. Yeah, Josh, seriously, sniffing. calm down. You're going a little you're off the rails now, buddy. I mean seriously. Calm down. He's ready. All the time. Every action be ready. Yes. Alright. So, Josh, your ready to action goes off. Directly in front of you, you see an enormous mega knowledge check. This would be Arcana. Uh, 16. It's a hook horror. You knew you know that they communicate. 
through echolocation and have exceedingly good hearing. They use their, they actually wrap their, their hooks together. Which is the clacking you were hearing. So <laughs> You knew that, but you didn't identify that sound? So let's roll initiative. And then Josh, you can have your ready to action after we get an initiative set. What is it? It's you. Those do you see this? Do you see the title? No, I can't see it. Santa Fe school shooter. <coughs> well, I knew that. All right. <laughs> Misa, what's your initiative check? Eight? Eric. Trusk, what do you got? Eight. Eight? Misa, what's your plus? Two. What's your plus, Trusk? Where were you with the morning of the... Oh, I'm sorry, it's uh, nine. Wait, plus three. three. Right. Headley? Nineteen. Yeah, I can see you. that. You? <laughs> see the title? That's not getting one. Mm -hmm. Okay. You? What do you got for initiative? I think you would have to drive all the way there. Solara? 11. You can make it back. Hawkrosh? 10. <laughs> What's your plus? Nothing. Sariel? 22. Vladislav? 6. Thanks, Josh. Uh, so that is a 17. Headley, what did you have? 19. All right, that's right where we're at then. Sariel, you are first. You swing open the door and you see four enormous hook horrors. Have they noticed us? Yes, actually. Okay. They uh, all turn. I my bonus action for my cunning to disengage. <laughs> I slide the short door back shut. Okay. The and then move my full move back. Did he take his ready to action? Yeah, with the bells toll. You got a bell toll? Yeah. Go ahead. Maybe. What do I need? A wheel wisdom save? Wisdom save. Mm -hmm. DC 14, I believe. Oh. Yeah. One. They take two points. The one in front mm -hmm. takes two points necrotic. Alright. And we just keep doing this. <laughs> Open the door, toll, close the door. Open the door. All right. So Headley, what do you do? I went oh, where did you go? I went all the way. Yep, I got all the way back behind. The so ten, twenty, thirty. All right. So you ran back. Uh, all right. Oh. Do I know if the cores have any resistances? Like Sixteen. You don't think they do? As I, 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 as, I, I, as I tumbled through everyone, I'm like, oh, they're waiting for us. And they're large. That's no problem. I, I, don't, I don't do anything. You going to just stay there? Yeah. All right, suddenly, it's the monster's turn. Hold on. I can do, buddy. You shut the door. I still know what I can do. Yeah. You could bar it. Hmm? Alright, so you have swung open the secret door. You saw the hook horrors who did notice you, and Sariel went ahead and slammed the door shut. And suddenly you begin to hear smashing at the door. As four hook horrors begin to whack at the door. Ooh, they each get to make two attacks, too. And they have eight hits. Hmm. Well, let's see. So the first do the first one takes eleven, and then nine. Ooh, minimum damage. And eventually, the da the door just shatters, just comes apart. 
And it's Solara's turn. They haven't moved forward, they're just standing there? Yes, they're just standing there. squeeze one size smaller through a passage. But then they're at disadvantage. We could try to lure them out the other side. Would I want to do that one hallway to try? Well, I need to do something, but I can't back up because I have a ton of people behind me now. That I can you can. Them. Um, so I will, if well first... You can, can move through people that aren't threatened, you can move through them. I can shoot and then move. Try to do some damage. Uh, That's what I think. Get them, get them crammed in the hallway. Just keep falling back. Get them crammed in the hallway. Okay, well I'll shoot and move. And I rolled a one. Ooh, roll again. Uh oh. Da -da -da. Stop licking my arm. Yeah, Josh. Josh. <laughs> Weirdo. Arm Laker. <laughs> Weirdo. <laughs> That's where the secret door is, right there, all the way back here. And that hall is right there. So Mari, you make an attack, um, but you don't have enough movement to move anywhere to clear everyone out, to clear the space out. Great. Am? Unless you want to push forward. Yeah, I don't think that'll be a good idea. What do you want to do? Um, I'm going to shoot, and then can I can I lay to move back when I can? Start back. I mean, you can shoot and then move to here because you have enough movement to do yeah. that. Alright. Then you're at disadvantage because you're firing through all those folks. So, Eleven plus six? Yeah. You hit. Sixteen points. Ow! So this this big billowing cloud of smoke. As key as Q manages to fire a musket past you all at disadvantage. Hawkrosh. I'm gonna shoot at shoot at them and then fall back. So that's a seven missed, and then I'll fall back. Alright, where are you going here? Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, diagonal, back one more. Yeah, that's good. Okay. That's pretty good. Trust. <laughs> I'm going to fire my dragon musket. Alright. You're at disadvantage with your friend in front of you. Advantage. <laughs> 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 that's a miss. Okay. And I'll back up to the next available space. All right, which I believe is 10, 20, 30 here. There you go. Misa. All right. See all four of them? Yes. Alright. I'm going to cast Bane. I need to make 
like the charisma saving throw. Charisma, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're good at that too. That's that's one charming hooked horror. Yeah. It's so cute. I want to take it home. Uh, these two made it. These two failed. Oh, what do I know about a hook to her? Huh? No, I forgot my turn. We get minus a B4 to their attacks and save. Okay. Bonus action, I'm going to fly back here. Okay. Vladislav! Uh, the one in the center needs to make a wisdom save. I can cast cause fear. I got... Uh, 14? Minus 4. Oh, D4, yeah. I got 11. You failed. You are frightened of me. Ah! He's frightened of you. And this will be back to me. Oh, shit. All right. Serial. Round two. Say at the end of every one of my rounds. Same? No, for his fear. Uh, I think yes. Your yeah, fear is a at the end of each of its turns, ending it on a success. I'll uh, and shoot at it from my pistol. Where? Less okay, you're gonna shoot from here. Or you're gonna advance. <laughs> from there. All right. Go ahead and. Uh, Eleven misses. Then I'll, uh, yeah, then I'll... Like here? Yeah. Okay. So you back out. All right, monster's turn. Okay. What? You didn't stick with the plan. The plan was to fall back. I didn't fall back. Everyone was in the hallway. Joshua. All right. So the hook horrors. Joshua. As you guys try to stagger back out of this tight hallway. This hook horror is under a fear effect. And he runs into the hall. Let's see if he... Yeah. He doesn't have to run. I know. That's what he does. He can't though. approach. That's what he does, though. He's just hes just a normal, everyday, stupid hook horror. But he's charming. He's charming with his minus two charisma. Mm. Uh, but he makes his save. Minus so next round... I, well, I rolled a 19. Even if I roll a 4, I made it. Right? So, at worst, I have a 15. Do I make it? Mm. Yes. Yes, okay. There's minus two, right? What? 19 minus two. Well, I still made it. Well, then the default. You can get down there. You yeah. four. You get 13 if you're Oh, okay. I'll, try. I'll roll it. It's possible. Three. When you made it. 15 makes it. 15. Yeah. DC is 14. So you'll All right, I made get it. you down to a 14. So yeah, I made it. All by one. Hmm. All right. Um, this hook horror comes, let's see, it's right there, and he's going to try to grab Mari and drag her into the room with his hook. Around the corner? Yeah. So he's a disadvantage? Yep. yep. He's the one that failed the mm -hmm. uh, No, these two failed. Okay. So my worst roll is a 16. That'll make it. So he grabs you and hooks you for 10 points of damage and drags you into the room. These two have to attack at disadvantage. Um, let's see. First guy, this guy right here. That misses and misses. And then this guy... 18. To hit. I thought it was a disadvantage. No, they each get two attacks and they lose d4 off of their oh, attacks. Oh, you said a disadvantage. This guy was a disadvantage to drag her you into the room. You said they were a disadvantage. No, these guys have lost d4. 
Okay. You said it, but it's not. Eleven okay, points. Okay, you meant they have he the meant penalty. They were banned. Okay. Now I understand. Do I get the chits out? Yes. <laughs> All right. We don't want your chit. All right. So he's got Mari hooked. And it's Solara's turn. You want to try to escape from his hook? It's an opposed athletics check. What's your athletics? Did you raise it by one with your strength increase? Yes, it's plus six. All right, six plus six against this plus four. Oh! So I got a 16. Huh? 21 total. All right, so you use your action to free yourself from him. Now you can make a move or you can stay there and, and uh, maneuver. This is bad. I can't disengage, man. No, because you have to use your action to escape. If you, if you run, you'll provoke. And he'll just run. I've got a cure wounds left. But if I run, he'll grab me again. Well, they and can't. I'll be back in the I don't spot. think they can grab me. Not on, not on a reaction, they can't. They can just attack. They can just take you. Surgery. They can't hook you. Ooh. Oh, you have an action. action. That's true. Okay. You just have to disengage. You're probably help. You want to disengage with an action surge? Okay. So how far back do you want to run? As far as I can get. Oops. That would be here. Don't Without provoking. provoking. Oh. Okay. You. You can't even really see any of them either. Yeah, I'll just stop. Um, yeah, you are ready? Yeah, I'm ready to attack. Alright. Or do you want to reload your musket this round? Sure. Okay. I, yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Alright. Alright, you'll reload your musket this round. Hawk Rush, where are you? I see where I am. All the way in the back. <clears throat> I'll move behind Batman and ready a shot as soon as one of them enters the hallway. Batman? Yes. That'd be Sariel since he looks like Batman. You're going to move behind him? Yeah. Okay. And then I'm readying my shot as soon as one of them... Where did you drop the chest at? The hallway. I'm still dragging it. Okay. So you're going to ready a shot? Yep. Trusk. I guess it could have been half I'm going to reload my musket. Reload the musket. Misa. Are you going to move? Half movement, right? Okay. Only if you, you want to step like forward one first, uh, otherwise you'll be disadvantaged with the angle. But he, he, you don't threaten him because he's around a corner. Eighteen uh, to You hit. Twenty damage. Jeez. Okay. Shot him. Run back. <laughs> Here? Yeah. Okay. Vladislav. Um, the one. Can I see the one right in the center? Uh, um, if you move up to like here, you could. Yes. All firearms do. Bell's tolling. Bell tolling. Okay. He failed. Is he already damaged? Yes. One point of necrotic. Ow. His ears start ringing. He's never heard a bell in his life. So Serial? What is that? Fire? I will hold. Hold? Yep. Yeah. Got a bunch of people in the hallway. Headman! Uh, yeah, I'll just, uh, 
I'll get defensive. Dodge. You go, you enter like the John Belushi pose. Yeah. I'll dodge. Okay. Dodge action. All right, so he begins to squeeze his way forward. Ah, attacking Josh. Oh, fire. Okay, where are you? Way in the back. back here. All right, you're in. well and disadvantaged. No. We can't talk about I missed. And we talked about fire. misfire effect number three. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit, that's a bad one. Wait, this is YouTube. We can't talk about guns. We're talking about fire. We can't fire. Josh. All right, uh, a three. <laughs> Kaboom! The weapon blows up in your hand, inflicting. Safe face. Okay. So that turns it into an eight. Okay. It's an eight. An eight is this J? I believe it's jammed. Let's see. Eight's a foul. Henry. Foul. The barrel becomes foul, and an hour must be spent cleaning it before the weapon can be used again. Okay. That's much better. That's much better. <laughs> All right, Josh. Um, yes. Attacking you. Uh, two big claw attacks. One hit. Henry. I think so. Fourteen points of damage, Josh. Big dumb thing. They're waiting for his friends. To Why'd it. you stay there? He only has a 15 foot movement. Because yeah, his D is shattered. The goal was to fall back. I can't okay. get through people. Okay. Solara. Well, now he'll be getting through the hook or yeah. the digest digestive way. <laughs> That's okay. He's immune to hook or. Can I pull him out of the creature's reach without promoting? No. Give us something yeah. else. <laughs> All of the hook cores attacks are alcohol based. So well, I'll shoot them. Ooh. <laughs> what are you shooting with? A pistol? Yeah, just okay. a standard pistol. I don't have anything special because I have just two sessions, so I don't have to try and like that. So, roll the 16. Are they all poison based? You hit. So it's 2d6. Plus your dex bonus. Mm -hmm. That sucked. That was minimum damage. Okay. Four. Okay, got and it. And I will continue to move back. Good. 20, 30. Yeah. All right, you rush back. Q! You've got your rifle reloaded. What do you want to do? You'll, you're at disadvantage if it's out of, if it's beyond one range increment. Uh, I think it was six. We find a barrel. I look into it. It's in one range increment regardless. How do I know that it's 16? Each square is five feet. Okay, but that doesn't mean oh. how I know it's 60. Is it's it on the just chart. A general just a general rule that's 60 for all of them? No, it's right here. For the right, you're on the rifle, right? Let's see. 80 for the musket. Yes, was that a disadvantage? For all the people being in the ways? Oh, no. Okay, do you want to stay where you're at? Um, I'm not keeping anyone from getting by me. No, you're not. Yeah, yeah, Hawk Rosh? <laughs> Go grab the That's that's very tempting. Why can you only move 15 feet? Because he's got a shattered knee. Yeah. It's all it's all done. splinted. He didn't that stick with our plan. That's been a yeah. couple weeks. Yeah. yeah. No, it, it, was just, it was just earlier today. What? Yeah. Remember the? I was right. Well, we're talking session, oh. Josh. Oh. It's Hot Crash's turn. You call that a hook? That looks like a lance. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> this makes no sense. It's no, great. It's got a All right, 13. You have failed. The lead one 
takes two points of damage as he feels bad, and is now at disadvantage on his next action. His next attack. The next attack, yes. Trusk. I'm going to move up in front of three. Yeah, right there. And surrender. Musket volley. Musket? Not the wizard. Uh, I missed. Did you get? Okay. Four. Uh, nine. You moving again? I just assumed the other one was higher. Are you moving again? Yeah, I'll move back uh, to. Misa! You begin to reload. Vladis lock. Move it back 15 feet. You have disadvantage on this. Since the vicious monitor. Yeah. You have disengage or just move it? Oh, he missed you. Wise bull. Wise decision. Wise decision. Try to uh, see if Scorching Ray do anything to one right in front. All right, so three attacks. Oh. Nine. Missed. Seventeen. Hit. Twenty-three. Hit. Seven. Okay. And six. Thirteen. Okay. He doesn't seem to like the fire at all. Fire bad. Cereal. Move up 15. Okay. Fire my musket at one of them. Uh, is a 17 to hit? Yep. And what damage did those do? 2d10. So then you have to take a round to reload if it's the musket. 11. Oh, plus dex. Yeah. So 15. And then I move back next to the druid. Yes. With that? <laughs> Thank you for your Headley! We were given to him for this man. Uh, no, 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 at least that's what I was told. Oh, are you talking like the cartoon? And so the flame No. It's a rifle. Yeah. Ten feet in front of him. He wanted to say we all... I didn't take one. Yeah, they made a town. They got one for everyone. Whether we were we're we're going to give them back when we give up. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I didn't grab one. Right. Going along well. Yeah. I four. So five, five, and I picked up four. Four. Got it. Monster sir. Two D ten damage. Range 80 feet. Well, you gotta pick one round to reload it. Okay. Did you get to add your decks? Yeah. Range is 80. Range is 80. Might as well put a scope on that thing. <laughs> now, range is 80 on the muskets. Yeah, long range is 320. Oh. So does the, does so the, the sphere actually yeah. enter his yeah. square? Yeah, maybe. Uh, Move around, slowly fall off. I'll determine what I do next. So five foot diameter sphere of fire. Yeah, forward if you ram the sphere into a creature, let's make it so it's solid. It rams into it. And it's five feet diameter, so it's five feet tall. Yeah. It's big. So it must it must enter his square to ram him, right? Uh, yeah, but it stops the another square before. It. Yeah, but he's wondering if the monster can move Think through it. Think of a giant so it nerf should, ball yeah, soaked in kerosene. Well, the heat's land. gonna drive him back. Yeah, it would like bounce off of him, so he's gonna run out to the hall. Well, what what happens if you move through? Does it say anything about moving through it? Square? Can, no, it's solid. It's a fire. Okay. So yeah, he he retreats. Yeah, it's a wall of fire. And the other actually, monsters aren't dumb enough to like charge into the fire. So Solara. Exercise balls covered in kerosene. Put me in front of the squishy necromancer. So, Ooh, in case they come back, I'll take the hit instead. Alright. And I guess 
also try sure to fire mean. at them. I can fire through that sphere, right? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's it'll still be a disadvantage. Yeah, it's, it's five feet it's tall five and it's solid. Tall. So you still have to fire around it. Nothing. Trusk. Dodge. Dodge. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's your do nothing action is dodge. Dodge. Right. Can I hit that one dead center? Yeah, Try your disadvantage. Are you using a rock pistol now? You have to reload otherwise. Mm -hmm. I'm at long range for a pistol, right? Yeah. Two that are adjacent to each other. There's two that are adjacent to one another. The ones in the room, yeah, the right? Ones in the room. There's yeah. three in the room that are all adjacent to one. No, they're not. No, they're not. These two are adjacent. Oh, yeah. These two are adjacent. <laughs> they are. The one. And these two are adjacent. <laughs> the one that looks like it's dancing. <laughs> yeah. The those. center one and the one closer to me. Yes. These two. Yes. No. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Josh. Josh, here you go. <laughs> All right, so this one got a natural 20, and this one got a 15. 15 makes it. Nothing happens. Nothing happens? Yeah. Okay. Nice. Spell save. Spell save is DC 14. Serial. Uh, reload. Headler. Launch the ball forward into that guy in the middle. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Six Five. Two fire damage. Ow. Yeah. And, uh, take that. Oh, how far away is it? Two, two. Uh, where are you here? 10, 20, 30, 40, 55 to the ball. Intense fire of that flaming sphere sends these. Jesus. I mean, they have basically beast, intent, beast intelligence, and they start running out of the room. Good work. I like that. All right, let's pause here for dinner. Station identification. Yes, we'll stop here for dinner, and we shall meet back up here in about 35, 40 minutes. Is anyone going anywhere to get some? Vittles. Yes, I could.